All right, let me just get in here. Let's see what random Sylvia I get. All right, all right, and I get, oh, I'm sorry. That thing is gonna be foreshadowing for what we're doing. Oh boy. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. So last time, side quests. This time, more side quests. And it all starts here. And also, hello, dude. Oh, hi, we meet again. What? Of course, honestly, I'm working. How dare you suggest that? Uh, what were you suggesting? I'm done with all that sneaking around in the dark. In fact, I head off to a faraway island to work with in the evenings now. So I won't be seeing you at night anymore. All right, well, all right. Well, now you gotta keep me from doing that job. Could you please step aside? This way to the only stall with extra fun, happy things for sale. Step right up, please stop by. Or at least like, or at least now she's working an honest living. No, no, no. If you wish to speak to me, please, I must insist you do the, the counter. Yeah, sure. Because that's a different counter altogether, man. Yes, yes, yes. You're the young master who purchased my sale. At last, with those funds, I was able to open up my own stall. But, I hate to say that my poor sale was not an instant success. In fact, it is rather deserted, I'm afraid to say. I think this tragic turn of events is due to the fact that I don't have a wide enough lineup of products. For, I, if I'm honest, I only have the one product. To put it another way, I think my stall would do much better if only I could stock rare items that people can't get here in town. Yes, yes, that is what I need. Then I would make plenty of money. Not just plenty of money. It would be like taking candy from rich babies. No, no, not even that. By running a prosperous business, I can play my part to keep this town develop and become a happy place. Yes, yes. Proper is the pers that is the proper perspective. But dear me, if only I had a young Matt partner to help me out. A real go-getter. I suppose I can do that. <laughs> All right, so we got ourselves a rather fine delivery bag, yes, and it only requires the use of our delivery bag, so yes. All right, so it's a long-winded explanation, but please take the time to hear me out. All right, so basically what this guy wants is rare products, and basically we need our delivery bag for that. So, could you not seek out traveling merchants and ask him supply contracts with the further, with that, 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 no, 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 don't look so frightened. I say contracts, but it's only just a word. You need not have to do anything difficult. All I need you to do is trade one of my products for a new product that the merchants have in stock. You see, among the merchants, a trade is a proof of contract. That is to say, that is the merchant's oath. That's what we call it. Yes, yes. Merchants that have sworn a merchant's oath will afterwards send their products to me. That is the way things work. So, as you succeed in trading my products, my product lineup will increase. Do you understand everything? Yes, I do. Perfectly. Alright, so now we are the new salesmen. And we'll give you the proof of contract. No. The merchant's oath. So, to start off, we have our town flower. So, if we find a place to set this rather small flower, then we can choose our delivery back for it. So, all we need to do is just to take the thing all the way over to the merchant and see what we can trade for it with. Alright, so his expectations are high for this one. Yes, indeed they are. So, why don't we just go ahead and do that. Now, this begins a rather lengthy bit of side questing that we can do. And... If any of you have ever played this game before, then you know what I'm talking about. Now we commence the part of the game that is specifically for trading items and all that junk. Alright. So. Now, this trading crest works a little bit, you know, weirdly. You can technically trade for all the items, but you have to do it in a rather specific way. And... Trust me, there is going to be a lot of trades that we need to make here. So that is why I have a chart. That is why I have a chart up to make sure that uh, to make sure that I trade for all the items that I could possibly ever need. So yeah, because it is very possible to miss 
you know, one item or two or even three. So, yeah. But trust me, there are going to be several, several rewards for our efforts here. Believe you me. There are going to be rewards for our efforts. So, let's go ahead and start off this thing by holding this up in the air simply. Throw this away. No. No, no, no. Hello. I'm what you call a traveling merchant. Yes, I'm just a cheery fellow who bobs between the waves in search of all manner of rare items, cracked and pristine, wild and woolly. I came from distant lands because I heard there was a treasure of great worth on this island, but I can't find a thing. Too bad we already got it. Actually, we don't really have it anymore. But he's looking for the favorite shop guru statue. But he has yet to do that yet. So... Yeah, we shall trade him the item in which we trade the item for. Okay, yeah. Huh? That's a town flower, is it not? In that case, would you be interested in that for the sea flower? Yes, I would. Alright, so the fee will be 20 rupees. Alright. So, yeah, there's also money involved. So, if we're playing on the GameCube, then probably just for safety, you probably want to max out your wallet so by trading your goods for my goods we form the old merchant's oath and we shall honor it by sending shipments to the windfall island shop however the however the heck that may be <laughs> however that works out but uh yeah so that's basically how this works so now we need to tr see the thing again but yeah you want to basically max out your wallet in the gamecube version so, yeah. And on the Wii U version, you don't really have to max out your wallet at all. But, you know, just for safety, you want to have at least 3,000 rupees. So, either way, we trade that same thing to the, to the guy so we can get an exotic flower. And that very same flower, well, is now sent over to the Windfall Island stall. So, yeah. Very, very good. And now... We go ahead and go over to Mother and Child Isles for that. So, oh wait, actually we can just sail there. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, we can just simply travel there and just sail there no problem whatsoever. So, yeah. Ooh, good thing I decided to go here when I did. <laughs> it's because, well, we have ourselves a treasure chart thingy that we can do. And thankfully, I have this open up to me right now, actually. Now I just gotta find out where the heck it is. Where the heck on the map it is, because, oh god. And I believe... No, it's not right there. I think it's number 42. No! Come on! Okay, it's number 29. It's number 29 that the location is. Place. So, yeah. Hopefully this will be money. Yes, money! Yes! Good thing we decided to go there to do that right away. Alright, so on the outside of Mother and Child Isles, you'll be able to find the next merchant that we can go to in that specific order. So, hello. I... Okay. Okay. I guess we have to talk to this guy, basically. And traveling merchant, blah, blah, blah. And this huge rock is in the way. Blah, blah, blah. And of course, it holds unique items. Blah, blah, blah. So someday he's going to open a, a mega superstore. Blah, blah, blah. So we can just go ahead and do that. All right. So an exotic flower for this pinwheel. All right. Cool. Most agreeable. And it will be 55 rupees for that. Okay. Cool. All right. And there we go. And so, by trading your goods, we get you and I formed a gentleman's oath. It's oath. All right. So, last thing we do before... Oh, wait, wait. Did I... Did I already get this guy? Did I already... Oh. I've forgotten the fact that apparently blue choo-choos were resistant to hook shots. Apparently. Okay. Cool. That's... That's cool. That's really cool. Just next island, please. Okay, Bomb Island is our next stop, and this is basically the only time that we're going to actually go here. 
to Bomb Island, according to the order. All right, so we talked to him first, and you can clearly see by, you know, each of these merchants' face that they look like a familiar race that has yet to appear in this game as of late. But apparently now they have in the form of these traveling merchants, so... Yeah, Gorons are technically in this game, even though everything is surrounded by water. All right, so exchange you. It's a pinwheel, and we can get it for a sickle moon flag. Satisfactory, then my fuel will be uh, 40 rupees. Okay, very good. Settles things, and here we go. Sickle moon flag. All right. So, once again, these are going to be very, very important for what's coming up ahead. Because we're going to need all the items in order to do what we need to do. I mean, technically, I guess you don't really need every single item. I guess, really, you can miss, like, maybe one or two, I guess. But you probably, you know, you probably want to just get all the items anyway. So... Yeah. But either way, we are going to montage the rest of these. Because, well, let's just face it. This is, this is a big old trading side quest. And we don't want any particular... And we don't want any particular, you know, boredom to come out of it. So, we are going to do this thing. And we shall do the montage, everyone. Do the montage. Do the montage! Got your thingy. Is is that it couldn't be the shop guru statue? Such a divine figure! Surely this is none other than the legendary individual who reigns at the peak of the business world. Ooh, most worthy day! Oh wow, my lifelong dreams come last and true! Such joy Such joy that I burnt Morty! This is my thanks to for fulfilling my dream. It's a heart filled brimming with grimace. Or grimace, gr whatever, whatever, whatever that piece of heart. My, but I saved a worthy item. Tonight, I will hold this close to my bosom as I sleep. I can't wait. Dude, I thought it was supposed to be at the thing. Why isn't it at the thing? All right. All right. We have done the trading side quest. Well, not really. There's still one thing left to do with Zunari before we move on with our lives. So, let's return to Windfall Island to see what he has for us next. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all this. This is brimming now. This is so brimming now. Oh my god. I love seeing things like this complete. 
Yes, yes, young master. Look, already my shop is already filled with a variety of products. It's a cornucopia. Thanks to you, young master, every morning the postman comes with a package from the traveling salesman you traded with. At last, my humble stall has the appearance of a full-fledged store. My dear, your unflagging dedication has strengthened my determination to live my life for the business of my success. Wow, I got those two mixed up. Wow. Master, you are the savior of my stall. I must thank you for the bottom of my heart. This is my most prized possession, next to my hooded coat, of course, and is none other than the Zunari family treasure. Please accept it. The magic armor. Use your rupees to create a barrier around you that protects you from enemy attacks. You won't expend rupees unless you take damage from an enemy or any other hazard. Alright, so this is the only optional item in the game. Well, aside from the Pictal Box, of course. Apparently, it's a magical heirloom, of course. And, of course, it costs money. Basically, just like, you know, the magic armor from Twilight Princess. So, yeah, I believe originally... I believe originally you would have to spend magic, but, you know, just so long as it's rupees, then I guess it's buffed. <laughs> I guess it got buffed. I don't really remember, like, spending rupees at all, actually. This is amazing. This is actually incredible that, you know, you get to see the magic armor in action here and in HG, too. And if you look really closely, it does look like you have Link's original clothing on. You know, he's got the cap and everything. It's really cool. This item is really cool. So, if you're having yourself a hard time with a particularly hard fight, then look no further than to use the magic armor. Just make sure that in the HD version that you at least have, you know, money to expend, you know? Alright, so anyway, what do you want next, good sir? Yes, it's just my fine, sir. You seem to be quite in good spirits, and why not? Thanks to you, my shop has become quite fine. Quite fine indeed. Dear me, yes. Indeed. Now, uh, how about these? So, basically... Now's the point where we can actually decorate Windfall Island. Yes, let's do that. Let us indeed do that. So, let's buy all of these stuffs. Just so that we can, you know, decorate the whole place. Now, I don't think it really matters, like, what decorations you have. I mean, so long as they're unique, I think we'll be okay. At least, I hope we are. So, yeah. All the stuff that you buy from here will be put into your delivery bag, just in case you want to set it down. So, yeah. It's a good thing I have all of that money. And also, you can only carry a three maximum of three products into your bag. I mean, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. Alright, so. If you want to set it down to a place, then just set the item to whatever and just do that. Simple. Very simple. Now, the key is actually trying to find you know, where these stands are. So, basically just spend, just be prepared to spend all of your money on everything, you know? Just everything. This guy is going to be one rich man at the end of the day. So, yeah. Don't worry, I have rupees to burn, so why not? Why not? Either way, let's get more of these. And now, we shall set them to the usual buttons, of course. Alright, so I don't think it even... I don't think it even matters, like, where you put it or what items you have. Just as so long as you decorate them, you're basically all good to go. You're basically all good. It's alright. It's all good. Alright, so I'm gonna de I'm gonna be back with another set of items. All right, next two items. We've got a pinwheel right here. Actually, no. Actually, yes, yes. Let's actually put the pinwheel in some place that we can, you know, see it. You know? You know? All right. Let's put the skull tower here. And, uh, yeah, why not? Let's decorate one file so that everybody can see it. Put all the fancy decorations right there. And that fancy, yeah, see? Things are already starting to look pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I have nearly burned my my entire supply of rupees. 
But it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it. Look at all these decorations. Look at them. Look at them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 wait. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I just noticed that one right now, actually. Now, uh, you're probably wondering, like, where the heck, like, I put another decoration. Well, I might as well figure out the first one that we got from Zunari. All the way over to Zunari himself. It fits. It fits better, I think. It fits better. And I know we haven't seen you around. You're basically the only guy that we haven't seen yet. Hello. Have you seen all the metal pedestals around town? We call them joy pedestals. Oh god, not another joy. Yeah, we got them installed a while ago by the newly formed Joyous Volunteer Association. It's part of this grand plan to help decorate the town. Anyway, they're brilliant. I may as well tell you that both me and myself and Zunari, the guy that runs the stall over there, are members. You just have to be a part of stuff like this. In fact, I already have. <laughs> wow, Windfall just seems to be filled with joy lately, don't you think? Say, you haven't been cooperating with the volunteers, have you? You know what I'm talking about? Decorating the town? Oh, really? You have? Wow, it never fails to amaze me through kind that how kind and thoughtful folks can be. I know. I'll return your kindness with some of my own. And that's it. That is every single heart container ever. Look at that beautiful, beautiful 20 hearts. Oh my god. It, it's always such a great, it's always such an amazing feeling to get 20 heart containers. That's that's absolutely incredible. <laughs> Plus the fact that Windfall Island now looks a lot more lively than ever. Just, oh my god. I just love seeing how everything comes together. Not just in the story, but in gameplay as well. It's just like, oh my god. Everything looks so good. It all looks so good. Just everything, everything is just so damn good looking. But with all that said... We are done here, and I am done with my recording session for all of today, and then probably tomorrow I'll do, like, four more. God. What is my life? <laughs> what is Wind Waker done? Ever. I'll tell you what, it's done amazingly. Either way, that's it for now. Next time on Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD, well, we only have a few more treasure charts left. Let's get the last of them, shall we? See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.